Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me. I created them myself. They are the characters in my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. And I have book one, two, and three, but that is not really what I want to talk about right now. I want to talk about that you hear that Ancient Mama is no longer going to be on the pancake mix and all of the breakfast foods, the syrup. Um, there's ever since we have had this movement, um, a lot of people have been complaining that the, that this image of Ancient Mama is a stereo is a negative stereotype of like a of, of African American woman who is subservient to, you know, who, you know, a slave pretty much. And so people feel like this is a negative stereotype of African American women and that they want to have it removed. And PepsiCo, the parent company, I think of Quaker Oaks, they have agreed to take Ancient Mama off the box. They said by the end of this year, she should no longer be on the box. Now, I'm just going to say, personally, I really want her to stay on the box. But let me tell you why before you start, you know, tripping, <laughs> okay? Before people get all upset. I feel like, to a certain degree, we cannot erase history. The person, the original um, ancient mama, her name was Nancy Green. She died in 1923 in a car accident. Yes, the the guy who created the self fries and pancake mix I think one guy's, it was two guys, Charles Rudd and Charles Underwood. And um, they had gone to a menstrual show and decided to name their pancake mix after her. She sold, like, I think they had some type of fair exposition, expo, expo show or something, where she sold over 50,000 boxes of pancakes. Um, not too long ago, I'm not sure of the date, her great-great-grandsons um, went to court and they tried to get royalties for her and it was thrown out of court so guys before you you know just you know get really angry i just want to say i feel that the image of ancient mama should remain on the the on the products and i think her story should be next to it like she was born to slavery um, let me see what year it was in 1834 we should talk about that we should talk about the real nancy green we should talk about those times we should are we going to say that these women did not exist that they that they that this 300 years never happened no when people are sitting down and they're eating their breakfast no let's tell her story let's tell her real story and and let's also give a portion of first of all let's give the money to her great grandsons any of her descendants there also have been some additional women. Um, let's make sure everybody is get is getting their royalties, and then let's also give a portion of money to um, colleges and other you know minority events or activities, Black Lives Ma Ma Black Lives Matter, and so forth. As you know, let's give some of that money to those organizations as well as to improve the um the way police officers treat people let I, I personally don't think that i am not ashamed of those those women existed okay um they they worked those fields they worked those homes they and for us to just act like they never existed and that we're ashamed of them that we are ashamed of their contribution to who we are as a people see that is something i have a problem with so i personally when i was i was a student at a community college and i read a book about african-american women and it talked about how the african the, the enslaved african people women were not allowed to nurse their own babies. They had to nurse the master's baby and they had to feed their own kids, own babies, like some type of pig slop, like a uh, some type of grain and grease. And so listen, and I, and I cried like a baby when I read that. And I told myself that no matter how difficult things would get, that I would remain in school for every mother who, slave mother, who could not nurse her own baby. 
I feel like we should honor these people. We should tell their stories. That's what we want, to tell their stories and to take a portion of that money to fund um, organizations and universities and scholarships that will benefit people. Let's not be ashamed of our past and let's not let it be for naught. I really hope that people aren't offended by this video, but I really feel like sometimes you know, together we can collaborate and maybe we can come to some type of agreement. I hope somebody <laughs> from Pepsi at least take this, take this into consideration. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.